Ooh, aren't you pretty? Creepy, creepy steam. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Inside Your Screen. Uh, this is Mr. Selfie, Tony. And this is uh, the Mortuary Assistant. Uh, this is a prototype game uh, from Darkstone Digital. Uh, got us an itch.io. Uh, without further ado, let's jump right in. Hello. Hi, Valerie. It's Raymond. I know it's late, and I'm really, really sorry, but I have to. I have, yeah, I have a huge. Oh, yeah. I had a late pickup at Sacred Waters, and I just started the embalming maybe 20 minutes ago. But I have a family emergency. I need to leave the office. Would you be able to come and help finish it up for me? Not really. Don't really want to. I mean, sure, but I haven't done one alone yet. Are you sure that's okay? You'd be doing a great job, and I'll have a checklist for you just in case. I took care of some of the prep work already. I really appreciate it. It sounds like we're we're in some kind of uh, torrential downpour. All right, I'll be at in a minute. Great, thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. So yeah, um, I saw this uh, today and thought, well, you know what's really interesting? Death. Death's really interesting. Um, I've always kind of... Oh, here we go, a little clipboard here. I see this space bar, look, clipboard. Um, I've already checked vitals, bathed the body, and set the face. Mm. You know what you're doing by now, but just in case, here's a list. Embalming procedure checklist, wear coat and gloves, I didn't bring the tools out yet, da 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 but thank you. All right. Can I put this down? Oh yeah, space bar again. And uh, what's that, a little candle there? I like the candle. Yeah. Make it nice and, make it nice and airy here, why not? Ooh, aren't you pretty? Hmm. So yeah, I've kind of always been fascinated. Uh, sorry, what was the first thing I had to do? Uh, wear coat and gloves. Okay. So yeah, we had to. Um, I've always been kind of fascinated with the uh, the old uh, mortuary funeral director style things. Yeah, that's the coat and gloves. Um, and I wonder if I mean it looks like they're going through the process here. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming there's going to be some jump scares at some point. I imagine the dead body's going to get up. But um, I wonder if they're actually going to go through the processes. Oh, sorry. Well, I'm, okay. I'm looking at the thing, but I'm not looking at it. I didn't bring the tools out yet. So bring the tubing, syringes, scalpel, and trokers. Trokers? Trokers? To the side table. Uh, right. What do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? Um, oh, spinny, spinny. All right. I guess that's the troker. Um, did I need this? Packing sponge? I don't think so. I guess this is the syringe. And it's not letting me pick it up. No? Oh, ah, oh, ah. Hmm. Okay. Do I have to do it in order, maybe? No? Maybe I have to put this down first. Uh, oh, is that someone, someone a-knocking? Ah, you've come back, hey? Nope, that's just spooky, spooky noises coming from the funeral home. Yeah, I don't think I'd, I'd let's see, like, uh, no, no, put back. Put you back. Yeah, so okay, I have to take one at a time. Um, I don't know what you have to do. Oh. Was that your friend? Was that your friend? Huh? Yeah. I take things, uh, things are going to get more. Surreal the further we get in this I guess um, Yeah, no, I think uh, I've always kind of wondered what qualifications you need um, to become a well in this case a mortuary assistant I guess some kind of um, Forensic degree or mortician science something like that. Is that everything? Did I put down everything? Uh, okay Slit your throat at first. I thought that I said that slight your throat Yeah um, Alrighty. Ah, okay. So I've got the tubing, syringe. Yeah, that's everything. No? What am I missing here? 
Have I just completely missed something off? Got those things. Maybe it is this. What is this? No. Packing sponge. Tubing. Got the tube there. No, I haven't. That's not tubing. What's this? That's something. I'm guessing that's the tubing. That's the tube. The old tuberino. Goes down your throat, huh, Missy? I feel like I've got to call you something. I've got to name you something to uh, relieve my burden of doing what I'm about to do here. Um, create the embalming mixture in the machine. Flamorhide, glutarohaldehyde, ethanol. Only two of those are things I know. One's where you put in the pickle jar, right? Yeah, I know, I know. That's the ethanol. Yep, so... Um, I'm taking it. This is the machine here. Yep, okay. Bloop, 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 bloop. That's that. Okay, um, what is this? Is this the, yeah, the gluten rehurten the herd? Hey, we could be in Sweden or something, you know, this could be a, this could be that kind of mortuary. Um, and what else was it? The, uh, was it the floor? Oh, no, 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 no. Not a hide. Okay. That's not any of those. Oh, I see ya. I see ya. Is that you? Is that you poking there? No. Can I? There we go. Yeah. Trying to be all sneaky like and be above me there, huh? Okay, so another jump scare, I'm guessing. This is going to have to create an incision in the cartroid artery and the jugular vein. See, I don't think I'd have a problem with this kind of thing. Um, if I can get the scalpel, that is. Uh, like that. Come on. Hit detection's a little janky here. Oh, maybe I've already got it. Do I? Do I just? Oh, there we go. Okay. The shield is in it. That which will not bend must break. A broken will become my vessel. I am here. Those who do not know me will know me when they hear the knock. The shield is in it. That which will not bend must break. A broken. Mm-hmm. I am here. Those who do not know me will know me when they hear the knock. Okay, this is going very much uh, the autopsy of Jane Doe. <laughs> She's going to be a witch. What? I love you. <laughs> Laugh at me. Okay. Ooh. You were a busy little bee in those few seconds there in darkness, weren't you, huh? Um, yeah. The Autopsy of Jane Doe. If you haven't seen it, Brian Cox. It's, it's very similar. Um, it's all based in a mortuary. And there's a knocking. I hear you knocking. Nope. But you can't come in. I don't want to leave here now. I can't go that way. Mm. These these kind of look like witch symbols to me. Yeah, no, it's a good film. Uh, all based in the mortuary. And, um, uh, come on then. Oh. Well, um, I will just leave. No, you close the door. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to go past her, aren't I? Okay. Missy miss. You just keep on pounding your head there. I'm just going to... No, I'm out of control now. I can't move. Oh! Oh, no. Don't do a spider dance. Don't do a spider dance at me. No! Okay. That wasn't too bad. Oh, I was just thinking with the, the cracking of the arms and whatnot, she was going to start doing like a... Oh! Okay. <laughs> and that's the prototype. Okay. Um, yeah, not too bad. Um, thank you for playing the prototype on the Mortuary System. If you enjoy the concept, please stop by the Patreon and leave a comment saying so. Your feedback and support are what helped me continue making games. That's Darkstone Digital. Uh, check them out. Yeah, I don't know if it's, it sounds, looks like it might just be one person. Um... But yeah, if you haven't as well, check out The Autopsy of Jane Doe. It's very similar in scope. Um, and Brian Cox and um, Mill Hirsch, I think, uh, are the two, are the two um, mortuary people. And it's actually a really good independent film um, and has some, some scares and some things that you don't really see coming on. Um, so anyway, that was uh, The Mortuary Assistant. And 
I've been Tony, and this has been Inside Your Screen. Check us again. Bye.